So I got into a lot of trouble and a lot of it I got away with. But by the time I was about 19, 20, I got stupid. And uh, I was with my boys and we thought we would make a day of it. And we were high and we were drunk. And um, we almost beat a man to death. And, um, and we hurt other people. And, um, and it was bad. I'm a felon for life now. And I, I will pay for that for the rest of my life. Uh, I was involved in a, in, a, in a domestic, you know, an abusive and emotional relationship. And I was finding myself, well, I was abusing alcohol just to isolate. I suffer from addiction as well as a lot of other uh, issues and I relapsed. Um, I relapsed and I couldn't pick myself back up. I've been out on the streets doing my thing since I was 10 years old. So I've been out here for the last 11 years running amok. So I just started messing up and eventually got caught up and served my prison sentence, went to work release and didn't have anywhere to go. I haven't made a whole lot of progress in my life. I've tried, do you know what I mean? But without help, sometimes you falter, you know, because you, you get listless. You know, you're like, oh, I've tried the same method and it's not getting me anywhere. I'm not making any progress. I'm not, and I'm running. Do you know what I mean? I'm running the best I can. But sometimes you need help, you know? And like I said before, thank God for programs like this because what would people like me do? Aisha, our instructor, is just a phenomenal teacher. I mean, She's animated. I mean, very easy, very easy to learn from. Um, the class is, it's awesome. Um, it incorporates all different kinds of stuff. Like, I love the Pacific Institute. The Lou Tice piece has been really, really helpful to me, not only to change my thoughts and my beliefs about myself and my core values, but also to help me. I have six children, and um, so I've already started to apply that like in my interactions with my children. Um, I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old, and my four-year-old has a tendency to really act up. But instead of pointing out his negative, I try to reaffirm that you're a good boy and that I know that you can do this, and I know that, you know, this is what you really meant, you know. And so I try to build their self-esteem and give them affirmations of their actions. It's not just giving us the job skills. It's, you guys have so many other resources, like I'm getting help with housing, I'm getting help with mental health count, health counseling, I'm sh you guys are showing me how to get funding, what I can do so I can actually go back to school. You know, if I don't have hygiene stuff, I can go to my case manager and she can provide me with those things that I need. You're trying to actually make a difference. And after I graduate, I know that I can come back to you guys and you guys are still here to talk. You provide services for months after we're done with this program. My goal is to do something in like social or human services because I know what it took for me to get here and if I can help somebody before they have to get as low as I got to help them just at least realize that there's something different and they're worth more, then that's, that's where my heart lies and that's the direction that I want to go when I'm done here. Not every felon that comes out not every criminal that comes out of, uh, out of jail or prison is just that. Do you know what I mean? They're more than a criminal, they're a human being. And programs like this, they can bring out the best in you. You know, it's a matter of wanting it. And I want it, you know what I mean? There's people here that I see that want it, you know? And, and it's beautiful. 